What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com. Quick guide for today, Enthroned and Liberty on how to defeat the old wizard's eye in the tower. This is the one I've probably struggled on the most. This guy was beating my ass for ages. I've kind of got a bit of a cheese method to it. Um, it's going to work for the Greatsword class for sure. I'm not sure if any other classes have a similar ability. So this is all based around the devastating smash ability. This is the ability that jumps behind the enemy and sometimes stuns them unless they're immune to stuns. So and that's what I'm mostly using here. This guy has several different attacks. He'll have one where he sort of goes red and then puts three beams on the, on the floor. They're easy enough to dodge. When he starts thumping on the ground like he did just there, that um, does more damage the closer you are. This is the attack you're looking for, that big one there that one hit kills everything. Like I can't survive it. I'm not sure if someone better spec can. This is the one where he drops the beams from the sky again. Just move. Very simple, that one. I am not well specced at all. This is not some crazy endgame build. I've still got rare gear on, so if I can do this... Anyone with a great sword can do this. Again, for this ability, if it's doing a lot of damage to you, just pull back. It seems to do less damage that way. Otherwise, it's not too much of a big issue. What you want to do is you want to save your devastating smash cooldown until he's done a few abilities when it's sort of re rapidly approaching his big main ability. You're not going to get it perfect every time, so you may have to sit underneath him here and take a few beatings on that big hitter when you're closer or even the beam attacks. But if you're on top of his body, as soon as he launches that big devastating AoE, all you've got to do is roll through him. I have tried all of the other abilities available to me in the tank tree, in the sword and board, and in the, uh, the two-handed sword tree, but the abilities to push and move through him don't seem to have any effect. So watch for this ability again. It goes red, drops the three beams, get out of the way, and then it's just the massive AoEs you have a real problem. So again, I'm going to sit on top of him right here because I've got a potions. I've got my health pretty high. My heal's going to be up here in about 10 seconds. So I'm, I'm confident my character build can sustain this damage here. You might not be able to, so it might have to be a bit more precise from your end. But again, I'm just sitting here waiting for that big ability. This is where it really hurts. When you're close to him and he's doing that, it can do a lot of damage. Here it is. Dodge out of the way. Job done. Hopefully this works for you guys. I'm sorry I haven't got any other class guides. I will look at some other classes when I've got a bit more further into the game. But that's it for now. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.